Hey everybody, it's Christina. Just thought I would do a quick video and show you how um show you my mini album that I just got done making. This is the teapot mini album. It's the um chipboard book that you can get at Michael's. Um it's by Mary Inglebright and it's on clearance now for 50 cents. So run to Michael's and check it out. Um so let me just go through uh, my album with you. All of the paper is from K and Company's Black and Ivory, and I. Uh, I've had this for a while, so I don't know if it's still available, but I got mine at Michael's, and um, I think it's an 8x8 pad, and I do know they have another one, a 12x12, that has um, the black and ivory as well as like a teal color with it, too. It's really pretty. So, but anyway, let me just tell you about my album. Um, I just did a tutorial on this, um, how to make this flower, or this uh, scallop, it's a scallop punch flower, so this one I think is done with the um, Stampin' Up uh, punch, so I'm not sure what the size of that one is. Um, I used uh, vintage cream cardstock from Paper Tray Ink and then just added some glitter to it. And my ribbons here are from Stampin' Up. It, they're a uh, craft taffeta ribbon. And this little jewel here is a uh, piece from a Christmas ornament that I bought this past Christmas. So I just took it apart and added it to here because the colors matched really nice. Um, the time for tea is done with Thicker's raw chipboard that I... Um, glued and added uh, the glitter, and the glitter is, um, let's see, this one's bronze, uh, it's Martha Stewart, and this one is just a black glitter that's also from Martha Stewart, it's the extra fine uh, glitter, and this ribbon right here is from my friend Terry, it's Prima, Prima Ribbon, so thanks Terry, and the little butterfly right here is a Martha Stewart punch um, that I punched out and then used UT uh, to stiffen it up a little bit. So, let's see. This page right here is um, just left blank to add pictures, and I used some Prima flowers that I uh, spritzed with um, iridescent gold uh, glimmer mist, and added this little um, charm here that says Thrive, as, and this is a uh, Prima uh, bling that I got at Michael's. This page right here um, is one of my favorite pages. This is just a Prima leaf with a Prima bling, and then a, this is another one of the uh, butterflies that I punched out and did the UT on. And this is a um, stamp uh, Sizzix uh, die that I used um, acetate or transparency sheet actually, so that a uh, picture can be slipped right inside. And then behind it, I have a tag that I stamped love and did the embossed uh, emboss resist technique with um, tattered rose. Um, distress ink, and I actually gold glimmer misted first, did my um, stamp, and then used the tattered rose and then the iridescent gold uh, glimmer mist. So that's just a little tag. And the frame here is what I did was I inked it with the tattered rose distress ink, and then UT'd, and then sprinkled in some of the bronze glitter mist as it was uh, as it was drying. This page right here um, I did with a uh, crocheted flower that my mom made and added a little heart bling. And the background of this uh, black cardstock is done with a cuddle bug folder and I don't remember which one it is. It might be textile I think is the, the uh, folder that I used to emboss. And then I just wrapped some twine with a little heart or button right there. This page right here I did um, the petal card Sizzix die from Stampin' Up, and I just uh, added a piece of uh, pattern paper to the inside so it can be used either to journal or to add a picture. And then behind it, I added a little tag that I stamped friend, and this was a um, Inka Dinka Do stamp that I got at Michael's, and then Prima misted some. Uh, or Glimmer Mist did some Prima flowers and then did um, use my eye top to make a button that coordinated with the paper. So, and that just sticks right behind there. Let's see. This page I left very simple. Again, this is just to add pictures. Um, I used some uh, lace ribbon and some beads, as well as another one of my, uh, the punched out butterflies with the uh, UT. And then this page right here, um, I used a Tim Holtz um, ornate 
frame for this and added a piece of ribbon along the back and then used my label punch or label maker to make laugh or to write out the word laugh and then I made two tags that can be pictures added to the front and then journaling on the back and they just slip right behind the, the frame there and then this page right here again is just for um, adding pictures but I Glimmer misted some Prima flowers and added a button and a little tag here with butterflies on it that says Dream. And this one here is my favorite page. I used the Martha Stewart um, punch and then did the UT on it and I love how it came out. It's really, really neat. And then added a little butterfly right here. And this is a um, envelope, scalp envelope um, that I just punched and added an um, eyelet to and a charm. And on the inside is just a little tag for journaling. So you could journal in the back or add a picture or whatever you want to do with it. So this is for a friend of uh, the family. So just made her a little little gift. So And she collects teapots, so I thought she would really enjoy this. So that's it. That's my mini album. Thanks for watching. Bye.